There are a few methods to curve text in Blender. I will demonstrate two, so stick around until the end. In this first example, we can use a deform modifier to bend it into a curve. I want to export this object in millimeters. So first, let's come over to the Scene tab and expand units. In the unit scale, I can input 0.001. Also, I'd like the units to display as millimeters, so I can change that in the lens setting here. When you do change the unit scale, one setting that needs to be updated is the clipping distance. Press N for the sidebar and open the view menu. Increase the start clip to 3 mil, as I find this works well. A lower value can end up with flickering, but experiment with that setting. Also, increase the end clip to 10 meters. We are working with small objects here, so the camera won't be out beyond that distance to clip the text. We can begin this by pressing A to select everything, press X and delete all these objects. We can press Shift plus A and from the Add menu add a text object. Let's open the Item tab and take a look at the dimensions of this text. Right now it's very small at 1.9 mil, so we'll need to increase its size. Press S, input 20 and enter. Press the Home key to center this text up. Tab into Edit mode and press the Backspace key to remove that default text. I can type 3D curved text here. Now we can tab back to Object mode. Press R, X, input 90 and enter. In the Object tab, expand Geometry and increase the extrusion to something like 0.1 just to give this some thickness. Now switch to the Modifiers tab. Here we can click Add Modifier and add a simple Deform modifier. Change the type to Bend. Also set the axis to Z. We then need an origin object to rotate around. Press Shift plus A and from the Empty menu add a plane axis. Select the text again. Now on the modifier in Origin we can click the eyedropper and come over and select that empty object. Then use the angle value to rotate the text and fit the curve you need. In this next example we can use a curve modifier to shape the text around a curved object. Click the X and remove the deform modifier. Select the empty, press X and delete this. Press Shift plus A and from the mesh menu I'm going to choose a circle. This lets you increase the resolution from the options box here. Increase this to 128. Also reduce the radius to 100. In the object menu come down and convert this to a curve object. That way we can select the text and here in Modifiers tab, Add Modifier. From here, we can add a Curve Modifier. In the Curve Object field, click and select the Circle Object. We need to reverse the direction of the text, so select the Curve and tab into Edit Mode. Select it all, and in the Segments menu, we can switch direction to reverse the direction the text is orientated. Tab back to Object Mode and select the text. Right click and Convert to Mesh. Repeat that for the Curve object and convert to a mesh also. Tab into Edit mode. Press A to select it all. Press G, Z and drag this down beneath first. Press E, Z and drag this up to cover the text. Let's come over to the Modifiers tab and click Add Modifier. Here we can choose a Solidify modifier. This will give the curve some wall thickness. Click and drag and increase this value into the negative so it covers the face of the text. Now tab back to Object Mode and select the Text Object. Come over to the Modifiers tab and click Add Modifier. We can choose a Boolean modifier. This will subtract the overlapping section of text from the Curve object. I'm going to set the Solver to Fast and just make sure it's set to Difference. Click into Object and I can choose that Circle object. Select the Curve object now, press H and hide it. The text is cut away, leaving a clean face from the high resolution of the curve. If we switch on and off the modifier, the difference is visible. Press Ctrl plus A to apply that modifier. Press Alt plus H and unhide the curve. Press Numpad 7 for a top view. You can also press 5 for orthographic. Tab into Edit mode and I can zoom in here. 
scale this down to just overlap with the back of the text. Tab back now and select the text. In the modifiers tab, add a boolean modifier. Set the solver to fast again. Click into object and I can choose that circle object. Press Ctrl plus A and apply this modifier. Press Ctrl plus A in the scene and apply all non-uniform transforms on the text. That completes this video and I hope you found it useful.